Hello and welcome to unlucky number 13 of my Damnation Let's Play. This week we're going to take a more laid-back approach to the game and sit by the dockside and have a cool glass of lemonade and fish with friends. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch an hour long of people fishing? Everyone knows it's the most enthralling activity possible in the game. Nah, I'm kidding. But you're going to get a hefty dose of fishing. And I made it so that you can't avoid it. My location this week is a very impressive build. It's near Warp, but in one of the worlds that people don't typically traverse. My dwarf friend here has been sitting around here for ages, just waiting for adventurers to come and find him. Something tells me sometime in the near future, a lot of you may come and visit him in his homestead. Oh, I thought that one was going to me. <laughs> that salmon. Oh, current XP 2014 represent. Looks like our natural XP farm is up and running. Jesus, that's a lot of mobs. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm here because JJ decided that Valentine's Day should be Prank Bunny's Day. So he ran went around my house and told me that he changed ten small things and a few major things. And it took me about, I don't know, 15 minutes to find them all. And he said that he had five more planned in the future, so I uh, definitely look forward to that. But these are all the things that he changed. He changed the spruce wood to birch logs, and he changed my kitchen floor. So <laughs> these were originally spruce, and now it's just, uh, birch, that hurts. And then this very, very bright, gaudy floor. Oh, God. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Bunsies. Thanks. But some of the smaller things are... The ender chest turned around. In my meth lab, he changed around my dog colors. Assistant gray is now blue. Assistant green is now black. And assistant blue is now green. Uh, gotta fix their collars again. He changed all the cobble walls in my house to mossy cobble, which just looks so out of place. He even changed the one there and under here. So that's dedication. And another change, the one that he thought that I would never notice because it's such a slight change, and I, I do give him credit, this is a good one. These two were switched. But for some reason I remember that. So that was one of the first ones that I found. And another one I caught pretty much instantly was the fact that these were wooden buttons, because I like having them stone buttons, so that you can't uh, log block a wooden button, but you can log block a stone button. So I can see who's been snooping around my house. And this is the final one. An inverted black sky with a gray sun, purpler magenta stained clay it makes me... This makes me feel like my graphics card is dying and all the colors are going away. But the final one that he did was to rotate all my animal pens 90 degrees. The way that he did this was not to painstakingly move all of these animals in their individual pens like I had to. No, he just killed them all after taking count of how many of each I had and then just brought them, brought them all back in with spawn eggs. But I think I'm going to keep it like this simply because it's not really that bad. Got my Jeb Sheep with a capital J that Sugar gave me because it's supposed to be lowercase. And I have my Moombles because love me some Moomble. Oh, speak of the devil, JJ just got online. Ah, you know, JJ, this is why we can't have nice things, because you just come on random points in time. Well, that's the end of this prank, and I look forward to your next five. Half sarcasm, half not. Oh, that was a really circuitous one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got clownfish, I got salmon, you know. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna grab a uh, puffer fish. No, don't you dare eat my puffer fish. Why? JJ. Give me one reason. I want a puffin f puffer Because fish. I can give you chicken. Puffin puffer fish. <laughs> JJ, what the hell? <laughs> Give me a puffer fish back. Let me go get one. And now, it would have been 
Oh, Bunnies oh, achieves level 100. Oh, okay. Very slowly. They should <laughs> do it, I think. <laughs> oh, someone put fire on my thing. Yep, that was me. <laughs> I had to have all it because of the puffer fish. You're, this is karma. This is one of my favorite that I found on my- Alright, madam, it's gonna happen. I don't own a fishing rod. What's wrong Any with second me? Now? Any second now. 120 XP. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! <laughs> Fabulous purple firework. Dun, 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 dun. That was beautiful. <laughs> well done. Now, oh, now on to 125. Oh, I missed. Okay. <laughs> JJ, watch out! <laughs> what? <laughs> you what? walked right into TNT. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know. It fell right through you. <laughs> that was uh, the most thrilling uh, thing that's uh, happened. Okay. Wait, that is my lily pad. This is my lily pad. Well, as a part of my continuing quest to get every... Oop, the firework went away. To get every skill up to level 100, there's 100 swords. So I only have, I think, fishing, I just got alchemy, uh, repair, maybe a few others. Yeah. Repair, woodcutting, and fishing. Alright, you guys are next. Oh! Still kept my line out. Hardcore, Hardcore fishing. fishing. <laughs> <laughs> since it's been a while since the 1.7 update, it's taken a while for mods to update, but now finally I have the minimap back. I have the voxel minimap, which is really useful. It has the entities, which I'm not too much of a fan of because it's kind of cheaty. Um, but that'll probably get disabled soon. But I also have... Mod macros! So I can up to my heart's content. But the real point of this right now is that I log on and I get the message of... There it is. You have recently won some lotteries! Type lottery claim. I'm gonna do that. Lottery claim. 3,763 crowns from daily. That's a quite a hefty lottery. Hmm. I think for the past, I don't know, how many lotteries have there been? Lottery winners. There have been 10 lotteries, and in I think about 8 or 9 of them, I put in 100 crowns, so still made uh, progress. I'm liking that the lottery is a lot more manageable now. In the three to 4,000 crown range, instead of, you know, 20-some thousand and people going home rich. But yeah, I'm going to continue to play this lottery and hopefully I don't win as much because I'm not really doing this to win. I'm just doing it to shell out some of my 46,000 crowns. Oh god. Holy pub. Getting that green. Fish. Okay. Observe JJ in his natural habitat trying to attack his arch nemesis, the crack. Oh, bitch! Go, bitch. Let's go, bitch. He has. Oh, oh, yeah, you just you just hit like most of his health down. He's mm -hmm. 31 out of 50. Get a 17. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't that much of a formidable, what, formidable, formidable enemy. I didn't lose any hearts. Uh, nice. Just XP? No fish? fish? Nah. You disappoint me, Kraken. Four ink sucks. <laughs> Definitely destroyed one of the uh, lily pads. <laughs> First world item problems. Griefing, ban. Back to fishing. Level 46. So I built this nice garage for Jimmy, but he had a horse in it at one point, but he doesn't anymore, so I decided to fill it. Saw where you weren't using your garage, so I fixed that. The keys 
are inside the car. Enjoy your new wheels. <laughs> Here are your keys. I hope you enjoy it. Take it out for a spin sometime. I think. I think it's a nice ride. Thanks a level. So an unnamed person filled my mailbox with random junk. 30 pumpkins, 3 iron ore, coal, cobble, iron, that's pretty good, string. But I do have some actual mail from B Knight 300, <laughs> Helix Fossil. Dear bunnies, I found the almighty Helix Fossil, thought I should give, give it to you so, you so I can give you guidance during your Minecraft adventures. Consult it whenever you are unsure where to go. Be night. <laughs> if you guys uh, aren't aware, um, this is a reference to the uh, Twitch Plays Pokemon stream that's been going on for, I think, nine days at this point in time. So if it's still going on by the time this video comes out, you should definitely uh, look it up and watch it. Basically, it's uh, a bunch of people, usually like 70 plus thousand, playing the same game of Pokemon by just typing commands into the Twitch chat. And it's oddly entertaining, and I just love it so much. I love the concept of it. And they've completed like five gyms and beaten Giovanni, so it's it's more successful than you'd think. All you meddling kids roaming about my house, breaking everything. I'll have you know I have very precious antiques in here, and people just people just barge in here and break things. And here's an example. <laughs> Uh, Reikunaro, uh, went to my house one day. So, I was kind of messing in your, <laughs> messing around in your place like a week ago. Might have possibly messed up, messed your obsidian generator. <laughs> I heard you liked, uh, I heard you got a golden retriever as a gift. Congratulations on the puppy. <laughs> uh, don't worry, it didn't break. It's just kind of annoying because the lava and water creates cobblestone if you don't have any redstone on it. So it looks broken, but it's actually fine. But yeah, I haven't I haven't placed down the puppy yet. I think he's still in here. Where are you, Where are you at? Ah, here you are. G retriever. I gotta put him down somewhere. I think I'm gonna put him down in my meth lab. So we can socialize with the other uh, scholarly dogs I have down there. Exactly. <laughs> it curved towards me, then away to you. Uh, that's the greatest. Thanks for the level, though. <laughs> and that just about wraps up this week's episode. Look forward to some tutorials and some Civ 5 coming in the next two weeks. Thanks to the humble Sid Meier bundle, a bunch of people on the server got Civ 5, Civ 4, and Civ 3. So I look forward to adding Civ 5 to the list of games that I play on this channel. And I felt it was fitting to add the extra super secret setting to fit the locale. I'm in the upside down house on top of Madam's house that OM and uh, World edited up there. And if you couldn't tell from the field of view pulsating in and out from our uh, multiple beacons. But that's all for now. Till next time, see ya. Bash. <laughs> Sorry, bash. Uh, we have a problem, guys. Hmm? What's that? Ender Dragon! Oh! Ender Dragon! <laughs> oh my god, it's right Wait, next to me! Wait, if we kill it, do we get an egg? Guys, help. Oh, see god, what you do, god. bunnies. You brought this problem. No! I'm gonna die! No. I shot the Ender Dragon. So you want to know who donated for you. You're going to have to work for that. Some players have volunteered to place books around the servers for you to servers. Does that mean FTB too? Hmm. For you to find. To find the answer you seek, you must travel to each set of coordinates and find all of the books.